This is going to be fun. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. This is a. Uh, this is turning into World War Z real fast. I'm not joking. Alrighty, guys. Gunshy Mori back here with another video where today we are going to be hopping in and we are going to be playing Space Marines 2. It has finally dropped. We get access. We get to go crush some bugs. Yeah. And I know today you guys are probably expecting uh, Arc Aberration to launch first. Surprisingly, this came out before that. We still have two hours before the launch of Aberration, so I should be able to at least record, edit, and publish my first episode of Space Marines here. So we're going to hop right into it. Looks like everything's good there. Motion blur intensity. Let's turn that off because motion blur quite literally makes me want to vomit. Um, I'm just going to turn chat off. And we're just going to do this just in case anybody else joins us and they're talking because it just helps me like prevent uh nuisance people from joining and saying stuff that they're not to but otherwise i'm not gonna mess with accessibility we're gonna start here and as much as i want to go in as the angel of death here uh i really um I feel like we should go in as veteran. I want to do the hardest, but I don't think we should should do like normal because I've been told normal is going to be the best option for us. We're going to go in as a veteran. As much as I want to do Angel of Death, I'm not going to because I've not played this game before. It's different with the first game where I can just hop in it no matter how what the difficulty is. You're just slaughtering. It's a it's slaughter fest. Also, don't expect me to read for you guys. I'm dyslexic. You guys can read this the same way I am. To yourselves. Bioengineered superhuman warriors. There is no time for peace. No risk. I'm again dyslexic. Respite. And no forgiveness. In the grim darkness of the future, there's only war. Yeah, there we go. We get the title card. And well, not technically the title card, but we get the fucking slogan. Oh, this looks so cool. Like, the clouds actually have depth to them, and it looks awesome. Ooh. Oh, dear lord. Those are Tyranids. Oh, this looks so cool. Cadian Guard Regiment. I think. They might just be a Guard Regiment. They're wearing the Cadian armor, though. They're in the Cadian style. Although, that's a lot of the Guard Regiments now. An encrypted message. Oh, it's like the start of the first game, you know, like when they were like detecting, hey, is this planet like savable? Is there anything here that's deemed valuable? You know? And like the whole reason why uh, Titus went in the first game to that planet covered in orcs is because it had a lot of valuable resources, such as that experimental warp engine, which caused the whole problem, and including several Titans. Early stage Tyranid invasion. Cease any bombardment per... per Project Aurora present. Aurora strateg strategic value. Absolute. Okay. So same thing with the Titans. They're, it was deemed absolute. So now they're going to be sending in us. The Marines. Hail the Omnisaya, hail the Machine God. Oh, Death Watch, okay. 
I somewhat know about these guys, and that's because I watched a lore video on Titus. But for a minute there, I was thinking these guys were, uh... What are they? Dark Templars. Are they on the ship? Oh, there's Tyranids prying open the doors of the ship. Oh, that's just messed up. Oh, God. You know, if you guys thought that the... the bugs from Helldivers 2 were bad, I introduce you to the Tyramorphs. Literally, the universe's perfect killing machines. And of course, these guys were inspired by a bunch of, you know, sci-fi classic monsters. Like, again, the Xenomorph. Did I call them Xenomorphs? I, I could have swore to called them Terramorphs. Yeah, I, I might have. I might have. But yeah, they are Warhammer 40k's perfect killing machine. They adapt to anything. Oh, there goes my ship. Kill team leader to squad. Box check. Kill team leader to... Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Wait, is that Titus Report already? Am I already playing as Titus? We have crashed. It's from your position. Do you have the virus bomb? Damn it. I feel... This dude sounds like Titus. It's gotta be. Because he is technically in the Death Watch. After the... Was it the first game? After the first game, he joined up with the Death Watch after they rescued him from that Inquisitor. Because that Inquisitor turned to chaos. Negative. No contact since the crash. I'm here, damn it. Kalstras, you have command. What are your orders? We proceed as planned. Launch the virus bomb into the stratosphere. Detonate it. And watch the Tyranids die. A sight I will greatly enjoy. Transmitter must be broken. Hormigans. The area will be crawling with them. Okay. Sorry if I'm getting quiet. I'm trying to listen up now. Because I feel like the, the, the story is going to be a little bit more important than me. Okay. So, damage plates, armor, extra small delay. So I got a feeling it's the same bit of mechanics as a uh, first game, where if I perform an execution, I heal and get my shields back. Okay, so if I get surrounded, do a heavy attack. Okay, so if I see a guy with blue, hit the left bumper to parry. Okay, that's an execution then. Sports. Okay. Any more enemies to parry? Okay, I have to like ooh, ooh. Okay. So I got to do the quest at least. Now they send lots of Okay, that's not fun. 
Press all right, so if it's red, dodge it. There we go. I got to be a little bit more defensive with those guys. So it's definitely more of a jump around and dance with them. Orpha, you must reach that bomb. I will, even if I have to show my way through. Okay, we can't head that way, even though it looks swamped. Are those tanks? Oh, they're anti-air. Nice. I can't remember what they're really called. I know that there are Lehman Russes, though, in this game. I already had that spoiled for me. Somebody sent me a, a clip of it just, like, rolling out, and it looked awesome. There's also a Bane Blade. I'm sorry. I should quit spoiling stuff. Ooh, speaking of Lehman Russes, if I'm correct. No, that's not one. I will repay them tenfold. Oh, it's my battle brothers. He ah oh, he got swarmed. This bolter will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. Come, vermin. Oh, you wanna know something? If you click it, it snaps a bit towards them. You do get a on controller at least. I have a little bit of aim assist when I aim down snipes, it snaps towards the nearest enemy, but it won't go fully there. It starts bringing you there, though. Yep, wrong button. What's gun strike? Okay. I, okay, that one, like, I was looking at it and it flung me in a completely different direction to attack. Okay, I somewhat think I know what I need to do now. I'm just going to keep on taking as much ammo as I can. That is definitely a checkpoint because it healed up my shields. Okay, that's what it means by... Okay, alright. Sorry, this is still a bit of a learning experience. I'm learning controls. But this is still epic. I mean, I'm loving this. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just surprised it looks so awesome compared to the previous game and me playing just a bunch of dark tides here literally being out on a warhammer world where it's like you can see the oh my god that is a problem okay we are at the viral bomb what is that can i use this please <laughs> i don't think i'd be able to fit titus in there I, I I know it hasn't can, been confirmed, but I'm a hundred percent certain this guy's Titus.
Okay. Baron, my brother, you have honored the Imperium with your devotion. Wait, do we got another dead battle brother? Oh, we do! I didn't notice him until it highlighted him. And he's got the viral bomb. I'm sorry. We got to take it. Ulfa! Helstras, if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Headed to the orbit. What is that thing? Oh, it's a spore. Oh yeah, we got the execution. That one was juicy. <laughs> my whole screen went red for... Oh my god. I am soaked. Alright. Oh, although that's like... That's common for Space Marines. Just coming soaking wet in blood. That's what happens when you don't catch the blue guys. Got it. Oh, that little one is the one that's doing the most damage. Come on, give me some full health here from the execution, please. Thank you. No. I really need help. That means I gotta do finishers somehow. Or not finishers, the... the blocks and then the takedowns with the gun. I guess that's what we're gonna call them when we have to shoot them. Because those heal us, surprisingly. Okay. Is my bolter reloaded? Is there a reload button? I don't see one. All right. I've hit all of them. Ooh, what is that? You have served your emperor oh, well, brother. It's It's one of our guys and he was just swarming with like tyramid mites to any imperial unit that recovers this lot. My kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead. Slain by tyrannids. I have the fire spot. Moving to the orbit launch. We'll fire at the stratosphere where it will disperse over tyranny positions. Move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Okay. Is that all of them? There's something back here. There's so something back here. Oh, there's a huge ammo cache. Nice.
that went smoothly. The virus is our one chance to delay the Tyranid invasion. The virus will spread through their forces. They will adapt, but it will slow them down. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. It's more ammo. Matters. Does that guard have something on him? No. From in there, I thought... Like, I was expecting some collectibles. You know how we could collect the servo scos in the first game? I'm not seeing anything like that. Although, I'm just now starting to look. Huh. This is a really wide open area. Yep, that's what I thought was going to come. Come on, execute, execute. There we go. That should give me some shield. Okay. Anyone else want some Titus? Operator shift change overdue. Your tardiness is Operator shift, shift change overdue. <laughs> Open the gates. Shift chronometer reset. You're registered as on duty. Carry out your missiles according to the divine synchronicity. Okay, if they shoot us, we gotta shoot back first. I legit just punched that Tyranid. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. This is definitely starting to look more like Dark Tides now. <laughs> but I guess that's what you expect when you go from interiors to exteriors. The interiors are gonna all look like the, you know, 40k interiors, and that's what I honestly loved about Dark Tides. And this game definitely carries it over. Although this is like, this is one of the very few places where we've gotten to go inside. It all looks similar. Like, I'm, I'm not saying like similar, but it's all in the same, like, you know, 40k style, and I love it. Transmitting override authorization. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The rite of safeguard must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. I'm to what? This is giving me grenades. More ammo. I want to say it's preparing me for a boss fight, and I feel like it is. I can't see. Why can't I see? Oh, you know what? That little bar that's been filling up in the middle? I think that's what that is. I'm infected with some Tyranid shit. Now it's like I'm fogged over. Also, I am going to be trying to stop cussing so much. I realize I've already started this video off pretty bad. And I'm sorry. Uh, but we are getting better at it. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been locked. Activate launch systems. The rite of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. So I have to go find some... The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. Okay, X to reload. You see all that explosive stuff around? That's good. Oh, no. I recognize that. That little hole right there. That's our boss fight. The only reason I know that is because I've watched another YouTuber who got to play early access. And I'm just recognizing it from this little hole. 
He was fighting a massive Tyranid down there. I got a feeling that's what we're about to do. Oh, no. Oh no. I'm wait. You're you 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 expect me, a single space marine, to hold off millions of Tyranids. Oh, I fucking love this. This is going to be fun. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. This is a uh, this is turning into World War Z real fast. I'm not joking. This is, uh... Okay, um... That got intense. But, like, it, no, it's just epic seeing them flow down off the cliffside there. This is where you hold the line now. I really hope this is Titus, but I also am starting to think it's not because I feel like this guy's about to fall to the Tyranids. I really hope this is Titus though, because he sounds like Titus. Although you could say a lot of space marines sound similar, because uh, if you remember like all the side character space marines from the first game, I feel like they all had the same voice. And that might be the situation here. He just sounds like Titus. No, we're about to get the face reveal. Yep, it's our boy. It's our boy. He's back, and he's pissed. Oh, they are everywhere. I'm surrounded. Even 
if I am slain, I will leave you with wounds by which you will remember me. Why do I feel like something like they're actually trying to kill me right now to actually kill me? We will eradicate your kind from the galaxy. Okay, here's the big guy. Yep, I was correct. I think Titus just died. Yep. Oh, and it's cutscene, so this was supposed to happen. I don't think I can actually kill this big guy. Because it looks like he was meant to take me down. Is this just it for Titus? Wait, there's another Ultramarine. Those are, those are Boltas. I'm feeling like we're about to get saved by the Ultramarines. Because that's got to be like how he rejoins the Ultramarines, right? He just gets saved by them from the Death Watch. We're loading resources. I'm afraid to pause because then I feel like as soon as I pause it, something important's going to happen. But here we are. Sorry if you can hear my water bottle. We're on a battle barge? the Emperor. <clears throat> the wound was fatal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you. 
Titus, accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once have you faltered. But you will never know redemption until you have faced the judgment of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and no true absolution. Okay, so this is how he... What is your It's life? explaining now. My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Now there's the title card. That the Rubicon surgery has remade. I'm pretty sure that was the first scene. mission, guys. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an ultramarine once more. Your brothers will know that you served in the Death Watch. But your dishonorable status as a black shield has been redacted from the archives. Should it be discovered, there would be... questions. Lord Kalgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. Oh, they got cherubs! They got the cherubin! Now, in previous games, people were afraid to do these because if I'm correct, just because they're naked babies. <laughs> Oh, this looks so cool. Gather the rest of the squad on flight deck. Yes. Look at all this. Oh, we got some we got some tech priests. Look at these. It's awesome. Uh, I am so sorry to pause there. I wanted to get some screenshots before I left because there's a photo mode if you just pause and hit X, you got photo mode, which I find amazing. And yeah, but look at, we got tech priests, we got, uh, what are they called? These guys ain't technically human anymore. <laughs> they, uh, they've been kind of lobotomized in a sort of a way. They used to be criminals, but now they serve the emperor. Well, that's kind of what the deal is, if I'm correct. That's usually what happens to a lot of, uh, things. Or it's sometimes deemed as a reward for serving the uh, emperor so well. Because if I recall, there was one time a uh, chapter of Space Marines that deemed a bunch of guardsmen fit for being surgically implanted with mechanical parts to essentially make them live longer. And yeah, that doesn't seem like a, a trophy. My lord, Lieutenant Titus reporting for duty. Nice. Gadriel report to the bridge. How are your winds? Good enough. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions, suspicions. I cannot afford discord among the men. Not now. You're a lieutenant now. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. 
Very well. So I guess I've gone down in rank. They engaged us on two planets. Avarax, a hive world, and Kadaku, which you already know. We're abandoning the latter. It's mostly Adeptus Mechanicus research facilities. We're evacuating critical assets and personnel. These defense guns are keeping the skies clear for our ships. The Tyranids have taken note. Get down there and protect those guns. Captain, you wish to see me? Sergeant, this is Lieutenant Titus. He'll be taking over command of your squad. Sir, I, I expect you on the ground within 30 minutes. Dismissed. Oh, wait, uh? I thought... I might be wrong on this. Somebody will correct me, though, in the description. I thought a sergeant was above a lieutenant. So that doesn't make sense, lieutenant, you know? forgive my hesitation. I am merely surprised by this development. As am I. Sergeant Gadriel, the Absolver is ready to depart. Brother Chiron, this is Lieutenant Titus. He will be leading our squad. Oh, we got another guy with is a robot so? arm. I just noticed. Well, I shall be glad to have a commander of such experience. Is the rest of the squad ready? Already assembled on the flight deck. Good. We leave immediately. Now, hold up. If I recall, in the first game... We were Captain Titus, and our sergeant was the guy with the robot arm, and we entrusted him to take the weird warp thing. Yeah, and that got him killed. But, I think, for now, we are going to call it here for this episode. I've had a lot of fun. I really did. Um, I'm pretty sure I can try and get a second episode recorded, because it has only been a good 40 minutes here. I just feel like this is a good stopping point, because we've got our first mission done. And also, I really need to go get something to drink besides this water bottle. It makes too much noise. And yeah. So if you guys have found yourself today enjoying it at any point, please, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. Peace.